お前は一体何なんだ友達だ YouTube. Welcome back to another Illusion Connect video. Sorry guys, we're a little late on the whole event that just dropped on Global. Um, originally I thought it was going to drop on the 29th, and then I heard it was the 31st, and now it looks like it actually dropped today on the 30th. So I was actually out of town yesterday, so I didn't get a lot of chance to uh, really get ready for today. So I've been like scrambling, trying to do the event and look at it and get some kind of idea of how it works before I make a video on it, which I think we have a pretty good idea on it. So, first let's hop into the event section. So, when you guys look at the screen, you guys are gonna have here your adventure mode, which is gonna have the different levels of the campaign. You're also gonna have daily pumpkin supplies. You're gonna have the exchange shop, which is gonna be where you're gonna be exchanging all your candies and pumpkins and things like that for different amazing rewards. And then you're gonna have daily quests. So, pretty standard. This was exactly in the spoils that I showed you guys a couple of days ago. Pretty simple stuff. You gotta clear event stages 10 times, kill the event boss one time, date any partner one time, which we went into dating in a previous video, um, and then challenge the illusion corridor one time, which you guys should always be doing. But if like, for instance, you're a person that wants to save up your illusion corridors and do like three in one day, because we only get one refresh of that per day, then you're going to have to at least only let it go to two refreshes or something. Um, or you're just going to have to do them each day to, so you get these uh, daily rewards. And then when you complete all the quests, you're going to get rewards too. So if you go and accept these, it's going to get some of these items here. And just like your dailies, they'll show claimed after you claim them all. Um, and that's pretty much how that works. In that as well, we also have all these different achievement quests. So these are going to go for a long time. It's probably going to take a long time to get all these done, but just different things you're going to be doing throughout the uh, part of the quest. There's login days. There's obtain the amount of chocolate coins. There's kill event boss total times. Um, clear event stages total times. Just tons of different things you guys can get. So lots of diamonds. There's some SR gears. There's some fragments of some of the... Uh, I believe this is one of the free-to-play characters. This is Edward. Yeah. So, I would assume we just piece him together because he's not in the gacha. Um, so, he probably comes with just the event. So, you guys can get him. Um, oh, it actually says obtained from a gacha. So, you can get him from a gacha. So, obtained from Maul. So, it actually shows each of these characters. And obtained from Gray Shadow Gacha, which I don't think we have that yet. We'll look, but I didn't see that in the summons so far. So, all right. Learning a little bit of something new, but... That's how the quests work. Uh, you go to Adventure. You guys will see here right now, I have five stages unlocked. Basically, when you get more pumpkins, you're gonna unlock more stages. So how you get those pumpkins is actually a, an amazing way they have done side event quests compared to regular things you do in the game on a normal basis as far as farming goes. So we can still improve our characters and our weapons and everything else without having to go into the event and waste our stamina in the event. Basically, the event has its own specific stamina. So how that's going to work, for instance, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go into, let's say I want to upgrade a piece of gear, right? So I'm first going to change this, even if I don't keep this on her permanently, just to show you guys how the whole event system works. I'm going to go into Forge. So uh, actually, that's a bad example. So let me go into another piece of gear because <laughs> I already have that. Uh, so let's go to my inventory. Let's go to gears. Let's go into let's go into this. Uh, they're all boots. All right, here we go. Perfect. That's a weapon. All right, so we're gonna enhance that. And I'm just gonna do this stage, or it won't even let me. Apparently. Okay. Well, that's all right. We're just gonna go into regular collapse. <laughs> oh my God so overly complicated for no reason. All right, we're just gonna go here. Let's go to a stage we've already three star cleared. We go into here. Uh, there we go, all right. So normally you guys, you guys three star clear a stage like always, you guys can just go and raid it and you guys are gonna get those rewards. So we go and hit raid five. You guys see there, we're gonna get random pumpkin drops. So let's do it one more time, raid this five more times. You're gonna get these random pumpkin drops every time you guys do stages. 
a, I don't know if it's on completely RNG or if it's the amount of stamina you use or difficulty, but uh, who knows what the whole analytics of how many pumpkins you get, but basically you get a bunch of pumpkins just for doing that. And when you get those pumpkins, not only are you gonna get currency to then challenge these stages, it shows right here, I can hold a maximum of 400 pumpkins, right? And when you use pumpkins, you're then going to unlock these different levels here. So for instance, the pumpkins are used for any of the non-boss stages. So you see here I have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna go into stage five. And here as well, as long as you three-star it, you can rate it as well. So if I go ahead and rate it, rate it 10 times. I'm then gonna get these materials, which are called the Devil's Contract. Now the Devil's Contract then is used for the boss stage. So we go into the Candy Imp stage, we cannot raid the boss stage, so you do actually have to let the boss stage play out. It's very easy still if you guys have been playing for a decent amount of time, and you guys can just let it auto. So you guys let it auto here, and you'll like kill this thing in like two or three hits. Or maybe more if you guys are lower CP than me. But at any rate, you do that, and then you're going to get other rewards as well. So that's how they basically have really streamlined this event. I am super impressed with how Super Prism Games decided to do this event to where they basically made it so that they can introduce a new event very close to global launch and it not really take away from your progression of your account. I think this was a super impressive way. I've never really seen a gacha game do this to where you don't actually have to commit your actual stamina to doing an event when you're not getting evolution materials, gear materials, whatever you're looking for, for progression in the game. So I think that was a super awesome way that they went about doing this event. So I am super impressed of how they did that. So next, let's go into the uh, Daily Pumpkins, just to show you guys what that's about. And of course the game, the only thing I could say about Super uh, or about Illusion Connect is they need to fix the servers. The servers is the the only downside of this game, I feel, is the servers. Just because I'm here in a video with you guys and I can't even fully do this video because <laughs> it keeps crashing. So you guys go here to Pumpkin Supply, if you guys see here. Through all the daily logins, you're gonna get different rewards and it goes all the way up to day 14. This event will be up for 14 days. So you guys see our various rewards, such as the pumpkins, uh, which you guys can then use these to play the event, obviously, which is super cool. Um, and then you guys are also going to get your summon tickets. You guys will get, get some EXP pots. You guys will get some dust. You guys will get crystals, gold, all that kind of different uh, rewards. Not like crazy good rewards for this, but on top of that, we still do have the Destin a reward. I chose Kiaria as mine, and you guys are going to get some rewards here as well for your daily eight logins, depending. You basically will get a character dependent on who you picked from, I believe it was two days ago is when you guys got your uh, Miyuki uh, copy. And then you guys can determine what you guys wanna go from there, but still some pretty cool rewards. Uh, what is that? That's probably close to like, uh, it's actually close to a multi summon off diamonds for the regular banner. And then you guys will get 300 dust. You guys will get an SR weapon, an SR free limit break, basically or awakening on a weapon. Uh, so some pretty cool stuff. And then day eight, obviously you're gonna get a three star Kiaria. So pretty cool there. Um, I don't think there was anything else for this specific event in this tab. Oh, there was, the Fantasy Treasure. So, how this works, if you go into View Details, the first purchase every day grants a dream and refreshes daily, uh, daily at 5 a.m. Um, so, what I believe that means is you purchase your first purchase in the shop. There is two free purchases in the shop. There's your daily regular supplies, and there's also a limited time purchase for this event as well. So you don't have to actually spend money or even gold, um, even in the exchange shop, if you guys don't want to. So make sure you guys pick up those daily free purchases. I hope everyone's been doing that, at least on the regular supplies every day. But make sure you guys do that. That's how you're going to get your free summon. And the way this looks like is every day you're going to get a pull. Because um, like I even bought like something additional in the shop and it didn't give me more entries. So I think you can only get one dream per day and you guys will get a random, uh, you do a random pull and it says uh, the next round starts when the jackpot at the center of fantasy treasures is won. During this phase, the rewards for each round are the same. So regardless if you guys go into a new round or whatever, it's still going to be there. And this really isn't related to the Halloween event. This was just something that was added in the update. 
Um, but there's a lot of really cool rewards. I got probably one of the worst rewards to start the event, unfortunately, which was like the 10 EXP pots. But you guys see there, you guys will get some resource cards. You guys can get crystals, gold, uh, regular summon tickets. You can get SSR um, shard, uh, shard fragments as well for random SSRs, diamonds. And then here is a random SSR gear, and that's the grand prize is the random SSR gear as well as some SR um, equipment enhanced materials and even uh, a couple of select tickets. So hopefully later luck will give me two of the select tickets before I uh, get that SSR gear. Uh, so we have 20 days to complete this. So hopefully you guys get lucky and at least get one of the SSR gears before the event goes away. Because it looks like there's eight, uh, there's eight, nine, 13, 17. So it looks like you should get at least... Even if you have to go all the way to the very last pull, you should get at least one SSR gear. So depending on how lucky you are is to determine how many of the, uh, the SSR gears you will get. Um, and I don't think anything else was added. So that is it for that section. So now to finally go into the last part of the event is going to be the Nightmare Exchange. So what you guys do is when you guys farm this event, whether you're doing the boss mode or whether you're doing uh, the regular... Uh, stages as well. You guys are going to be able to give candy. Uh, and actually what you guys are also going to want to do to make sure you are going to accumulate these boxes as well. And you actually have to go into your inventory and use them. And you're going to get random goodies from the Halloween chest. So I just opened a bunch of those. I only got uh, five of the mint orange candies, but then I did get some gift boxes for gifts for my intimacy for my characters. I got gold, I got some EXP, and I got some crystals. So you are going to get random things depending on, I guess, just your overall luck in that box. So uh, it just kind of depends, but it's just kind of extra, you know, event currency that you guys can get on top of everything else. So when you go back in here, and I'm sorry for the servers, once again, Illusion Connect. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, yeah, this is really getting annoying when recording videos. They need to fix this so badly. And they even had an emergency maintenance, but it was just for a gate correction. It wasn't to fix the servers, unfortunately. But anyway, moving on. What you guys will do here when you accumulate candies, whenever you want to give candy, you just go ahead and do that. And I got 234 there. So we get our chocolate points. And I've done a decent amount of farming today so far, I feel. I've done a couple refreshes, and I still am only at, not even a little bit over halfway of getting the first chest. So what? how I think this works is basically you have to wait for, I think, day two. I think each day they unlock a new one of these, right? So that's when you can then purchase these. So what I would recommend, you can actually see all the different rewards that are going to be offered to us throughout the entire event period. So the things I would be on the lookout for are things that are either like a massive deal off or basically, um, or things that are like super important to get for your account. So I would say, honestly, everything is gonna be these treasure chests. So you definitely wanna be getting these, as many of the SSR pieces as you can. Um, I say that's the number one thing you wanna try to go after. Because um, those aren't things that you can farm in the game. Those are limited, you know, drops. You can get them in the Arcana, of course. Um, but they are, you know, when you can get them for free, definitely take advantage of that. Um, so those are, you, there's a bunch of them you can get. So there's two there, two there, two there. So it looks like there is a total of, is that 10? Two? God, this goes by so fast. This is like... Oh, really annoying, actually. So two, four, six, eight. Okay, so there's eight total SSR pieces you guys can get. Um, outside of that, different things to get. I definitely would try to get the select tickets. So those are things you definitely want to be saving for once we get clo close to day 12. Um, you can get those. Looks like, what is that? Like, oh, only 4% off. Originally, it's 1600 and you get them for 640 Why is that only 4% off? I don't understand that. But at any rate, <laughs> percentage doesn't make sense. But anyway, uh, definitely pick those up. You can get five uh, select tickets there. Uh, then there's also other cool things you guys can get. 
I would definitely get uh, try to get the regular summon tickets so you can get five of those. I would try to get the Lost Mirror Dust. Those are really good to get. Uh, definitely the Honor Gem is super important to get as well. That's going to give you uh, limit breaks on your SSR gear. Uh, you can get your Edward Shards. You can get 10 of those. You can get some SR gear pieces too. Uh, there's, so there's a bunch of SR gear chests. I would say that's more on like the tier 2 thing to get if you guys are pretty satisfied with what you've gotten so far and you have enough save for what you need to get. Um, but I would say that also to get is the SR uh, gear enhancement, a uh, little uh, little necklace there. That's going to give you a lot of EXP. It does cost 3,000, which is kind of a lot, but near the end of the event, you guys see here at day 14, once you get to day 12, if you've already gotten the select tickets, and I would assume you can get everything else previous, it just may be more expensive if you don't buy it in that time frame. But we'll see how that shakes out in a couple of days. But, uh, but yeah, so... Just wanted to mention that, but I would definitely recommend getting this at the end if you have enough currency um, at the end of the event. But definitely, the more one thing is going to be the gear pieces, the lost mirrors, uh, the honor gem, and all the summon tickets. I feel those are the most important things to get. The resource card gold ones are pretty good to get as well. You can only get one of them. It only costs three hundred um, here for like day two, so I would definitely get that. Uh, I think there's another one in the shop as well. Or there may not be. May only be the individual uh, purple cards. Yeah, so it looks like just the individual purple cards. And the gift box XL, I would probably get two because it's cheap. It's only 400. You can get two sets of those. So, yeah, guys. I mean, you optimally want to try to get everything. But if there are certain things to pass on, I'd say it's like gold, EXP, the lower end gift boxes, the lower end resource cards, things like that. But definitely try to get those uh, gear boxes, as many as you can, to progress your units. Um, and then at the very end, for day 14, you can also get a Candy Imp uh, skin as well. So that's going to be the video of the event over you guys. Let me know what you guys thought of today's video. Sorry about the interruption there. Um, <laughs> always complications. But uh, anyway, guys, if you guys did like how to handle today's, today's event throughout the next two weeks, let me know of your opinions, any changes, any things you would have done differently if you were in the developer position. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys drop a like down below. Hit subscribe if you guys are new and ring that bell for future notifications so you not miss the next upload here for Illusion Connect here on the channel. I thank you guys so much for watching. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys.